Hi, today in this video I'd like to show you how to measure your yarn and how to use the WPI in your label to identify your yarn. Let's start watching this video. So, as I propose you, I'd like to show you what is wrap per inch. Wrap per inch is when you get our yarn and you get a ruler like this or whatever. You, some people have some uh, material like this you can wrap here. The most important is get a one inch and you can wrap your yarn like this around to count how many wraps you can make with your hand spun yarn in one inch long okay that is the goal so you wrap loosely okay so i made my wrap i put here in my one and i make this loosely and i count so i have one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 wraps. So now I have some places to check. I have this tool that I can buy, the conversion table. I have weight, the yarn weight. I have WPI. I have 13 that tell me medium. I have a Clara Parks, the book of yarn. And she explained what is wrap per inch, exactly that I go to tell you late. And here I have, tell me, 13 is something between and heavy worsted weight or a sport weight. Something between here. And I have the Crafty Yarn Console that tell me 13 is something in light or medium medium is limit more light do you see here uh why is different because it's determined by the ind yarn industry because every uh, uh brand has their uh measurement their uh conversion table so when I use my hand spun yarn, I use, I check the craft yarn console and I use this one as reference. Why? Because it's a, a console, use, there's uh, some rules to guide us. Uh, Clara Parks refers some others, use some other difference. So this is very important to have a very good reference to support your wrapper inch. Here, I have this thing, but I have no reference where, where this come from. So it's a good tool. However, I cannot know what this come from. I have, I can have some idea to while I'm, I'm spinning, but it's not a very true reference to write my yarn in the late, lately. Why this is important? Because when you know the wrapper inch, you can determine the weight of our yarn is. You can determine a uh, stitch per inch. So this is important to, to show your gauge, to determine your gauge when you are doing your, your product, your swatch. Uh, when you do your swatch, it's very important to know what swatch you are doing for what size your needle and the approximative yardage you are have in your yarn. So that is why you have to know your WPI. However, that make a mistake to mix the different notion because you have a WPI and a spinning wheel and you have a TPI. The TPI is a twist per inch and this is a subject for another video. Okay, thank you to be there. If you like this video, it is time to subscribe in my channel because I'm here every week to talk about spinning, natural fibers and other uh, test water that I love. 
and uh, thank you to be there. It's all for today and see you in the next video.